we doing guys so tonight we're gonna try something different I've been watching people do blooms and they're adding mica powders to their casting craft to their ocean white to whatever but I want to try not using any white and just using strictly let's resin chameleon powder and we're gonna pour it like we would a bloom and then we're going to draw our petals in and we're going to see what happens, if anything. It may just turn out to be a mess. We'll see. Nothing else, even if it doesn't bloom, maybe the design itself will look cool. So, I have here uh, my J-Diction for our resin. This is the last of it, so I hope I have enough here. June sent me it. Also, June sent me some black resin. Thank you so much, June. I appreciate it. And if this turns out, we will probably be backing it in black. So, since we're just doing one coaster, we're not going to need a whole lot of clear in that to mix with the chameleon. So, the majority of this is going to go in the coaster. We're going to tilt this around in the coaster here. Okay, so now we are going to mix our chameleon powder. And we are going to take one spoon. We're going to stir it here. And we're going to see what we get. So, what do we got here? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, you can't even see. <laughs> this might not do anything at all, guys. I don't know if anybody's even tried this. I'm sure somebody has, but we're going to try it and see what happens with us. Alright, so now, I'm going to pinch your cup and we're going to do our spirals here. Perfect. Now we're going to let this set for just a couple minutes. I'm going to put you guys on a pause. I'm going to come back. I'm going to give it five minutes and then I'm going to come in and stir the and put the petals in. Okay guys, we're going to come back. We're going to draw our petals in now. We're going to do the 12 o'clock. Okay, get it out, out, and 
just like that. Oops, sorry guys, I'm bouncing y'all around. And then we are going to spiral it right there in the center. So, my thoughts. It looks like it's trying to do something. But I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out, though. We will come back when it's done. And we will see what we got. And uh, if we got anything that looks like it might be promising, we'll back it in black and come back when we demold it and see if we actually did get something. So, I'll see you in a little bit, guys. Hey, we are back. So... Clearly, it doesn't look like it bloomed, bloomed, but I don't know. I haven't taken it out, but it does have a really cool pattern in it, and it sparkles, and it glitters, and I thought, you know, I'm going to go ahead and put the black on this, the black, and then we're going to demold it, and we're going to take a look, because I kind of want to think of some different patterns. Even though we can't get a bloom, we did get a pattern here, and I drew the petals in, and swirled it in the center and we got a pattern because we know how resin moves we know resin pulls in from the outside to the inside and i kind of want to try a different one later doing a pattern that's going to intentionally look better when it pulls in make sense so i want to i'm going to like i said i know this didn't bloom like a regular bloom but i kind of want to see what it did on the other side and i want to put some black resin in it. So I'm going to put you guys on a pause. I'm going to mix up my black resin. And then we will be back to pour it. Alright guys. I'm back. So I got my resin mixed up here. This is a Lutz resin. Black resin. I just want to make it easy. Because I'm like. Like I said. I want to see what this looks like on the other side. I'm curious now. Because it looks pretty cool back here. It doesn't look like I said. It doesn't look like a bloom. But it does look really cool. And I want to see what the other side looks like. I said if we can do specific patterns with the intention of it pulling in using that as a using that as a design aspect right does that make sense so basically you pick a design intentionally wanting it to pull into the center And how cool would that be if we could kind of control our resin based on our knowledge of resin? Still can't control resin, believe me. I know. <laughs> I've been trying for two years. You can't do it. But you can predict somewhat what it's going to do. And if we know what it's going to do and we can base that off of it, perfect. All right, guys. I'm going to let you go. We'll come back when it's ready for demold and we'll see what we got here. All right, so let's unmold this and see what the heck we got. See if we got anything at all. I'm so curious. All right, here we go. One, two, and three. Oh, wow. Look at the colors in there, guys. That's beautiful. Wow. That is, and the texture, look at the lines and stuff in it, guys. I don't know if you can see the sparkle in it. But that is just beautiful. So it almost kind of tried to do something there. you can see here where it almost tried to make like petals huh and I know I could have added bloom to it but I didn't want I wanted it to be just pure and I wanted to see what it would do with just chameleon powder nothing else chameleon powder and resin I think if I would have made it a little thicker maybe it would have done better I don't know maybe I made it too too intense but you can like I said you can see here Huh. That's interesting. It 
almost, when you look at it, it almost looks multi-dimensional in there. All right, well, that's our project, guys. We know, like I said, I'm sure somebody else has tried this. I haven't seen anybody recently try it. So I thought, you know, we're just going to play around. Worst case scenario, we get a pretty chameleon powered co coaster, which we did. And like I said, I kind of got some, you almost get some bloom look to it. Hmm. All right. I hope everyone has a wonderful night. I hope your resin cures beautifully. Okay. Never mind. Hang on. I did pour an extra. I don't know if he's done yet. Hang on. Let me check him. Yeah, I guess he's done enough. Okay, so I poured an extra. I poured this spider candle holder thing. And, uh... I don't know if my legs are cured enough. Let's demold him and see what we get from this guy here. Okay, so he's cured, but his legs are still a little bendy, and I just, I don't want to rip him off, honestly. So we're going to let him cure. Um, we will demold him tomorrow. I've got a couple of other things that we're doing for the steampunk. We'll de demold them at the same time. But I want to give him an, at least overnight. We want to give him a fair chance because I don't want to mess him up. So we will come back tomorrow and demold him. I'll see you then, guys. I hope everyone has a wonderful night. Hope your resin cure is beautiful. Your craft projects turn out amazing. I hope you are all happy, healthy, safe, and blessed, and I will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.